Clark County school police are cracking down on reckless drivers in school zones, and it's led to more than 1,200 citations since students returned to class. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Piguero looks into what drivers are doing wrong. Dropping your child off at school can seem like a mad dash. Cars stopping in the middle of the street, kids crisscrossing through traffic, and Lieutenant Brian Zink with school police says it is up to them to enforce the rules. Be good citizens, be good drivers, and just do simple stuff to, to, to make sure that our kids can get to school safely. In the first 10 days of this school year, Lieutenant Zink says Clark County School Police have issued more than 1,200 traffic citations. On Thursday at Lead Middle School near Tropical and Bradley, I saw police citing drivers. Everybody should know in the state of Nevada that it is illegal to do U-turns in active school zones, but still, that probably uh, you know accounts for a large amount of the tickets that we that we do write every year. Traffic officers have also, in less than three weeks, confiscated guns and arrested drivers suspected of being drunk. This photo from CCSD PD shows a driver blew more than four times over the legal limit. To have something like that in an active school zone during dismissal, it was pretty egregious. Due to the record high number of students that were hit by cars last school year in school zones. CCSD PD and local municipalities took actions, including adding more crossing guards and increasing patrols. 138 students were hit by cars in the 2023-2024 school year, doubling the previous year. Tenant Zink says a school zone is active twice during the day, half an hour before classes start and half an hour after, and the same timeline is applied for when students are dismissed. Reporting near Lead Middle in the North Valley, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now.